Matt the Mortgage Guy here shooting a quick video to talk about a rule of thumb when it comes to refinancing. plenty of different scenarios where your specific scenario, you're going to have to talk to a professional through that to figure out, you know, if the benefits of the loan, uh, you know, outweigh the costs for your specific scenario. In some cases, it's, you know, really cut and dry. I need to do this refinance um, to stretch my loan out to 30 years to lower my payment because um, I've got some financial woes or I need to do this cash out refinance because I've got $37,000 in 22% credit card debt that I have to get rid of. Um, in other scenarios, you're gonna wanna analyze it and say, well, I've got a decent interest rate, but I think with rates being super low, um, it makes sense. And then you look at the fact that, you know, it saves $127 a month, is that worth it? And if, if you want a quick rule of thumb, one thing that I go through with some clients is the 36 month rule that applies to VA loans. And with VA loans, they, to protect veterans, make it to where if you don't show that the cost of the mortgage is outweighed by the benefit within the first 36 months, you can't do the loan. The, the, the VA just won't allow you. And I think that's a great rule, such a great rule that you might wanna apply it to other loan types. Just because it's not a VA loan doesn't say we can't do an analysis and say, okay, you know, total closing costs between title company, lender, appraisal, everything is $2,732. Let's see how much you're saving in the first 36 months. If it outweighs that 2,700 and you plan on staying there three years uh, or longer, then it probably makes sense. In that scenario, you know, take 127 times 36 in the first three years, you've got almost $4,600 in savings. Well, the loan cost you 2,700, it makes sense, especially if you, say, hey, I'm gonna live in there for at least three years. I'll probably stay there for another 15. I might just, that might be my, my forever house. So great rule of thumb if you wanna talk to a mortgage professional and, and kind of run that analysis. What are the true costs on this loan? What is the benefit? And what's, what's my benefit in those first 36 months? Because as much as people think that they might stay in a loan for 10, 15 years, the stats say that, you know, a sale, refinance, something changing on the mortgage is likely to happen every three to five years. Obviously some people it's 11 years, some people it's nine months, average three to five years. So that, that three year benefit test is a really good one to kind of decide, does this refinance make sense? Any questions at all, please feel free to reach out, Matt the Mortgage Guy.